This tutorial will walk you through the basics of the timesheet by line in Assistance PSA. Once completed, you will have learned how to book hours on your projects, book expenses on your projects while still in your timesheet, and make use of all the other functionalities available in the timesheet. It is highly recommended that you complete the tutorial on the timesheet by calendar prior to following this one. The timesheet by line is located in the Time and Expenses module of Assistance PSA. As its name implies, it will allow you to book your time in a linear format. You will find here some of the functionalities seen in the timesheet by calendar. Note that the Outlook Retrieval is not one of them. You can only enter your hours manually here. Now, let's begin with the creation of your first line. As with any timesheet entries in Assistance PSA, you will have to specify the project information of this entry. Click the drop-down menu of the first cell and select a project. Note that PSA will display next to each project its related account. Click Accept. Back in the timesheet screen, PSA will automatically display the first active item of the project as well as the primary hour type of the employee. In both cases, you can change the selection by using the drop-down menu. Now click the cell under Wednesday. Enter the number of hours you have worked that day on this project and hit the Tab key in order to save the data. To enter a description, simply double-click back on the number of hours of your entry. PSA will open up a new window where you can enter a description or an internal note. You can also enter an expense here. Simply hit the tab. You will recognize here the same fields and features as with the timesheet by calendar. Once you've completed the information, click Accept in order to save the data. If you have worked on this project multiple days during the week, simply click the corresponding cells and enter the number of hours. You have completed your first entry. You are now ready to enter a second one. This time, however, you will use the Copy function. Hit the Copy Week button. PSA will open up a new window. In the left section, you will find the weeks to be copied. In the right section, PSA will display the entries of the selected week. Your schedule is pretty much the same as the week of the 28th. Click any day of that week. PSA will now display all of its corresponding entries. Scroll to the right in order to display the hours. You want to select the first two lines. Click the first one. Now press and hold down the Shift key and click the second one. Note that the Control key will allow you to select multiple lines that are not next to one another. Once you are done, Click Accept to allow the copy of the two lines. Back in the Timesheet screen, PSA will automatically save the time records. You can modify the number of hours of any copied time entry. And if you double-click on the hours, you will be able to change the description. As for the Expenses tab, its original content will not be copied as it belongs to the original entry only. But if you like, you can add one to this new record. Let's take a look now at another useful functionality within your timesheet. In Assistance PSA, you can copy your most frequently used projects but without any time entries. Click the History button and maximize the screen. PSA will display the list of your most frequently used projects with their project item and hour type. Click the third line. Now press and hold down the control key and select the fifth line. Hit Accept. Back in the timesheet screen, all that is left for you to do is enter the corresponding hours for each new line. One final note with regards to the time entries. If you click on a project item, PSA will open it. And, as with the timesheet by calendar, it will allow you to update the percentage of completion as well as any activities linked here. 
You have now learned the three simple ways to book your time and expenses in the timesheet by line. We will end this tutorial with a look at some of the other features displayed here. With the exception of the full week box, which you can uncheck to display a five-day week only, you will notice that the other functionalities here are the same as the ones in the timesheet by calendar. At the bottom of the timesheet, you will find the total amount of hours per day now booked. Once they are approved, these hours will show in the green line just below. At the top of your timesheet, you will also find the total amount of hours booked, but in this case, for the whole week. Right before this number, PSA will display, if any, the amount of hours to work per week defined in the employee's record. From these two numbers, it will calculate the remaining hours to be entered in order for this week to be considered completed. Note that this information is for display purposes only. Whatever the number of hours entered here, it will not prevent the timesheet from being approved. If you would like to have an indicator of when a timesheet is completed, you can use the option Report Ready. With this feature, employees now have the possibility to report their timesheet as completed up to a specific date. The information defined here will then be saved in the employee record and will become available for reporting. You are now ready to book your time and expenses in the timesheet by line of Assistance PSA. Your next step is to do the exercises defined in the lab timesheet.